So now moving on to 21B. 21B says, a second line L2 is perpendicular to L1 at R. Find the equation of L2 in the form y equals mx plus c, where m and c are constant. So m is the gradient and c is the y-axis intercept, the point at which the line L2 crosses the y-axis. So how do we go about this answering this question? Well, first of all, let's see what information we've been given. We're told the second line L2 is perpendicular to L1 at R. So if the line L2 is perpendicular to L1 at R, that means that the gradient of line L2, let's call that M2, multiplied by the gradient of line multiplied by the gradient of line L1, let's call that M1, is equal to minus 1. So to answer this question, we're first going to have to find out M1, and we do that using the equation for the line L1, which is 3y minus 2x is equal to minus 2. When we get the answer for M1, we're going to rearrange this equation here to make M2 the subject and then solve for M2. After finding M2, we're going to put this into the equation y equals mx plus c, along with the knowledge that we know that L2 crosses L1 at point R, and that will give us the equation for the line L2. So let's start with the first step, which is finding out the value of m1. So to do that, we're going to have to rearrange this equation, 3y minus 2x is equal to minus 2. So let's rearrange this to get it into the form y equals mx plus c. So let's move this 2x to the other side, and we do that by adding both sides by 2x. So we get 3y is equal to 2x minus 2. Then we're going to divide through both sides by 3. So we get y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 2 thirds. So now all we need to do is to find out what the m is. So we can clearly identify that the m like equation of a line is in the form y equals mx plus c is the coefficient in front of the x. So in this case, that's 2 thirds. So that means that m is equal to 2 thirds. m1, sorry, is equal to 2 thirds. So now let's find out what m2 is. So by rearranging this, we get m2 is equal to minus 1 over m1. We know that m1 is equal to 2 thirds, so that's the same as minus 1 divided by 2 thirds. And that is equal to minus 3 over 2. So m2 is equal to minus 3 over 2. So what do we know now? We know that m2 is equal to minus 3 over 2. We also know that L2 shares the point R, which is given by 1, 0 with L1. So by substituting these values into y equals mx plus c, we can find the c or the y-axis intercept for the line L2. So what we get is y, which is 0, so 0 is equal to minus 3 over 2 times by x, which is 1, plus c. So let's move the minus 3 over 2 over to the other side. So we get c is equal to 3 over 2. So the y-axis intercept for the line L2, or the c constant, is 3 over 2. So let's write the equation for the line L2. So the equation for the line L2 in the form y equals mx plus c is y is equal to minus 3 over 2x plus 3 over 2.